Hello and welcome. My name's Kathy A. And yep, one more video before I move. Why not? What the heck? <laughs> Gives me a little break from packing things. Um, I thought I would do a January faves and flops makeup and a little bit of lifestyle stuff. And let's just start it right off. All that. So I'm wearing my moon necklace. This is from uh, Kate and Chloe. And they actually sent me this necklace. It's really, really pretty. It is a waxing moon, the beginning of new things. And I just thought that was great. It comes in a cute little box. I think I have a discount code below. I just thought it was a cute little thing and uh, they did send it to me. So thank you so much, Kate and Chloe. Um, it's a really substantial chain. It's a very, very nice necklace. Uh, one side is a brushed uh, rose gold and the other side is a, uh, a shiny uh, rose gold so anyway let's go into important stuff this is screwball peanut butter whiskey and this is the one that kind of started it all for peanut butter whiskey I mean people would mention screwball and and that was kind of a word now I you know I try uh, oh there's some left in here um, I have tried sheepdog peanut butter whiskey and I have touted that for the last few months. I actually like the sheepdog whiskey better than this one. This one is more of a, a rough taste. It's not whiskey taste. It's not really a peanut liqueur, but there is an, a little bit of a rough peanut taste to this one. And the sheepdog has more of a vanilla and peanut taste. So I would, out of the two, I think the, the sheepdog has a better flavor. And this one costs more. This one is like $10 more for, for a bottle. So anyway, just thought I'd give you that little whiskey review. <laughs> this is egg pans. And these are, um, I, I fry an egg in these. And these, you can get these in the grocery store in, I don't know, around the breakfast aisle, or whatever, or in the area where they have all the little implements for the kitchen. Uh, it's just a tiny little frying pan. And this is perfect for making an egg that's small and will fit into, I get the round bread thins from Arnold's and they have, you know, or an English muffin, you can use it for that. If you're making a single egg and you don't want it to spread out, so you can use it in one of those little English muffins or whatever to make an egg McMuffin, these are great. And it doesn't matter if you get the cheapy one or the thicker coated one. They both work the same. They both make the same kind of egg. So, now these things I got on Amazon because I had gained weight. Um, bras and things did not fit very well. They were really tight and I was like, Ooh, you know, you know, you're trying to like get around in life. So these are little extenders and I know most of you have probably seen these, but you never think to use them. And um, it's really nice. If you've got a nice quality undergarment, this hooks in. Um, to the the hook will hook into here and then these will pretend to be the new hook so the new hook is kind of you know nice you get that extra like two inches of room and they've got they come in three and four hooks and then those of you who are lucky enough to just be two hooks they do have those as well but these are the uh, four hooks these are the <laughs> for the San Francisco bridge kind of underwear that I have to wear. The four hooks work really well and I believe they even go up one more to five. So they come in a four pack, very, very inexpensive, but this is something that really helped me be a lot more comfortable. And it stops with the back rolls. If you are um, getting back rolls because the strap is too tight on your undergarment, uh, this helps a lot with that. So I have a link below for these as well. Most of this stuff, uh, those kind of things come from Amazon. So Ardell has come up with their own version of hair for men, uh, beard and mustache dye that many of us like to use on our eyebrows. And it's actually an eyebrow tinting uh, system. And you get a, you get an applicator, you get a stirrer, 
you get a little mixing cup, you get powder that's color, and mine is light brown, which is the lightest, and then you get the, the uh, what they're calling the um, developer and conditioner. So you pour a teeny blob of the conditioner into here, and then you shake the powder, they said three or four times, onto the top, and then you stir it together, and then you stick this in and apply it to your brows, wait 10 minutes, and then wipe it off with, I use um, like tissues wrapped in water, wipe it off, and then you, uh, you know, wash, wash it well and make sure you don't get any of it in your eyes. Just 10 minutes and you've got this beautiful brow. And I think it's, it's um, a really nice way to do it. I only did it one time and I thought it worked really nicely. So those of you who have white or gray hairs mixed into your brows and you don't want that, I mean, some people can rock it, I cannot. Um, this works really nicely to give you a nice solid color. Now the light brown is this shade basically so there's nothing really really light there's no light light blonde kind of shade so um, this is the lightest it goes but I think it was really nice and there's 32 applications in here so I think that's kind of neat I um, am a big fan of Little Poet Susan and um, I was watching her video, I don't know, it was around Christmas time or whatever, and she said that she was having a giveaway and she was just gonna randomly have that little app thing, pick pick winners. And I, I'm not sure I really was entering for it because I always comment on her videos usually because I just love her, her videos. And Little Poet does beautiful, thought-provoking, emotionally charged videos about life and living. Um, she also does some makeup and skin care, and this is one of her favorite items. And this is the Skin Divine Elixir Luminous Skin Oil. And basically, you pinch the top and you unscrew it, and then you um, just release it. And then what she does, and what I started to do because she does it, is she pats it into her skin. She just pats it into her skin and up her neck. And I have seen a marked improvement in my skin quality. And it's winter time with this. It has worked so nicely. So I'm gonna put her link for this underneath because she sent it to me. I was one of the winners of the contest. And I'm, it smells lovely. It has Manuka honey in it and a few other really nice skin ingredients. And I don't know if she has a coat or not. I'm gonna include anything that she has on her site for this but it's definitely well worth, it's a luxury product to just do for you. But I've seen a huge improvement in my skin in just the month I've been using this. So three weeks I've been using this. So I think it works really well. It plays well with makeup. All the makeup that I try on over it goes on really smoothly. So it also stops with flaking. In the winter you get a lot of flaking. And I know it works because around the edge where I don't put it, I've got flaking. So I know that it's working to prevent that. So uh, thank you again, Susan, little poet, for my um, Skin Divine Elixir. I really feel very elegant when I'm using this. Very nice. Um, I bought this during the Ulta sale, and this is from Clinique. And this is kind of an all-purpose travel set. And I thought, wow, this has got a little everything in it. This is great. It's, um, you know, it opens up. You've got these things. Just put this up. And you also get, you could see a mascara. You get five lip colors. You get applicators. You get four eyeshadows. And you've got your... Uh, powder cream, powdered cream to powder foundation. You've got this powder and you've got this blush. So my love of the idea of this for traveling or whatever was was just I just thought it was an amazing assortment of stuff. The eyeshadows come off very goldeny and warm toned. The lip shades are very sheer. Uh, but what concerned me the most is that this does not come in two different versions. And so unless you are a medium to light skin person 
This won't do you any good because this is not for people with darker, medium to dark or dark, uh, deep skin tones cannot wear this. So I'm returning it because of the non-exclusive aspect of it. And yeah, I'm going to throw my politics in here because I just feel that I don't want to support a company that isn't inclusive. And I think that, you know, it, yeah, they're including me. Okay, but, and it's not my fight, and it's a white speak thing. Okay, you can take whatever ground you want on it, but I feel that it needs to be inclusive for me to want to support the company. It's just, that's just the way I believe, and that's the way I'm going to go. And even though I found some of the items in here to be quite nice, the mascara was pleasant, the lip shades were nice, even though they were very sheer, um, and the powder foundation was very nice, even though it was slightly dark for me, believe it or not. Uh, the powder was wonderful. I have to say Clinique has to catch up with the world, you know. So this is going back. Uh, it was a great idea, great concept, and um, nice packaging, but it's going back. Um, oh, you know, I, I've been using the La Cura or La Cura. Uh, it's a German brand. You can get it in Aldi's. And I, I love the skin foaming skin cleanser. And I love the two creams. And, and I thought, okay, well, I'll try this exfoliating scrub. Oh my God, this was awful. Awful. I, um, I washed my face with their cleanser. And then I put this on. It's the kind that has the grit in it. And I started to put it on my face. And I felt this immense heat and hurt and I rinsed it off as fast as I could. It, it just reacted so badly with my skin. So I cannot recommend the cleansing exfoliating scrub from this. And you can get this brand at Aldi and I'd say all of those, the night creams are wonderful and the regular foaming cleanser is nice. That's for sensitive skin. This is not, it'll make your skin sensitive. Oh my God, it was awful. <laughs> Uh, during the Sephora sale, I did pick up this from Tarte. This is their um, mascara, and it's called Surfer Curl Mascara. And they also, I also got a little sampler pack of it, but um, very, very nice, very light, very light uh, mascara. It doesn't really give you a whole lot of body. Um, but it wasn't bad, you know? It's supposed to hold your curl. If you curl your lashes and put this on, it's supposed to hold your curl and give you that volume you want. And I believe it does do that, but it did not pass my humidity test. And with mascaras, if they melt a little bit when there's a lot of heat or sweat, then they, they fail, and it failed. So, heart, I'm sorry, couldn't work it. Um, now, somebody else had said that this new Lorac foundation was their favorite and I think it might have been geek geek out of water fish out of water geek out of water <laughs> anyway she um, she's really fun she's a really interesting person she's a professor and she's working from home now and she does a lot of stuff with animals and stuff um, uh, studies didn't sound right <laughs> she picked this as her number one uh, foundation for the year I believe and so I had to go out and buy it now this wasn't in December so I, I didn't include it in my 2020 specials but I'll be darn I didn't like Lorac's last uh, foundation at all but I do like this one um, I did get a shade that was slightly light for me I thought um, you know I think the bottles a little bit you know I don't know maybe do you think um, I just think I got a half shade too light, maybe a shade too light, but I do like this. And this is the new one from Lorac, uh, Lorac Pro Soft Focus Foundation. Really nice. And I think they still carry uh, Lorac in, in Ulta and also in Kohl's. I think they're still carrying this. So I did like this. It wasn't my favorite foundation of the year. Um, you know, I still have my other favorites, but I thought it worked really nicely. Now, she and I have very different skin types. I'm a little drier and a little older than she is, so I have some texture issues and stuff. She's just getting into that phase, so she's starting to realize that, 
you know the oily skin thing isn't working anymore for her, all her stuff so she liked this and I do too um, so if you have normal skin to oily skin you're gonna love it if you have dry skin you're gonna love it as well and I thought it went on really nicely I just think that because you can't sample shades anymore um, I bought a shade that was maybe just a little bit light for me so when you get a lighter shade than your actual skin tone it can actually bring out some of the bad things on your skin and make you look pasty but um, I did like this and I do mix other things with it that are darker to bring up the color a little bit so that's the Laura I believe it's called the soft focus pro wet and wild oh my goodness wet and wild has come up with first of all the newest incarnation we all remember these from wet and wild and these are the uh, these little pan um, rose in the air is this one well now they've got a new format for these and it's this and these are really really nice these are the color icon um, 10 pan shadow sets um, you can see they're slightly different shape than the older ones and I think there's a little more product in here although you get more colors it looks like so you can see that um, you get kind of a new version of it and this one is um, nude awakening this is the new nude awakening and they had other combinations. I didn't see the roses in the air version. They have other different newer combinations of colors. Uh, the quality is excellent. My eyes today are from this palette. I really like this one a lot. And they also did something interesting this year. You know, of course, e.l.f. has these little quads they sold and they were very popular. So now I think Wet n Wild wasn't jealous. You know, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. So they came out with their own. They have, I think, four different versions of this, and none of the colors repeat. So even though some of the colors may look a little similar to what's in here, they are different. So um, one thing I'll say about these is that none of these has a matte uh, eye color, kind of like the creme brulee color. None of them have a matte version. They have shiny versions. And, you know, I've been trying them here and there. I haven't really made a cohesive eye out of any one, but they have some beautiful colors. I'll just put the, them up here. I love the greens in the, in the green one. So you can see here, these are the three versions of the Wet n Wild. And these are very inexpensive. I think they were $3.99 or something. So they are um, imitating the Elf, kind of, you know, this is our version. We're given, you know, one more color we're giving five colors and it's the same price as the elf stuff and the quality seems to be quite good um, I, I really like uh, some of the wet and wild shades I think wet and wild gets underrated uh, because we're just so used to high-end Sephora stuff we just snub it so with the uh, wet and wild stuff I think you get you know a lesser pigmentation than you would with say a Natasha Denona or a Pat McGrath palette but you get very controllable color use and it stays all day and I think that that's important too it's not everybody likes to have a big blob of color that they have to control and not everybody knows how to apply it correctly so um, sometimes those really highly pigmented um, expensive shadows can be difficult to work with so I thought these were very easy to work with. Of course, I always like, um, <laughs> I believe it's this Carnival Candy uh, from e.l.f. I really like that one. Um, but they have some really nice sets here, and I think there's a, another one as well. Uh, very, very much worth checking out. And the, um, the 10 pan um, of these, definitely worth checking out also. This was the Nude Awakening version. Uh, this is the one that had similar colors to the original Nude Awakening that was done in, in um, this format. You can't find the Nude Awakening like this anymore. So I did see on a Wet n Wild display, they still had this format on some of the um, palettes. So I don't know if they're going to keep them both or not. I think I like this format better. It's easier to get the brush in and to see where you're at. Also, um, Wet n Wild did come up with a whole new line of stuff. This is the um, <laughs> Incognito um, 
concealer and I have that on today as well which is kind of weird about it is it is a dry formula cream concealer and I like it because it's not so serum -y that it spreads out and you can't see it I have it on now and I really like it I think it is it's dry I don't know how else to describe it. it's not real runny it's thicker than other concealers but it's not stick powdery thick it's it's just thicker a little bit thicker and it works really nicely so the incognito uh, concealer from wet n wild very very nice they also have a new brow uh, tint and this is the light shade uh, I found it to be a teeny bit dark but it does work nicer than the Ulta brow tint and nicer than the uh, Essence brow tint this is the uh, brow obsessive from Wet n Wild and it's a it's a little bit longer wider um, brow um, wand and you just brush it through I brush through all the way this way first and then I brush up um, all the way through and then up for some reason because of the way this is created I like the fact that you can fill in uh, the skin you know in your brows where you're thinner you can use this as a fill-in as well as so it kind of replaces a pencil in many ways so this was a hit with me too I think Wet n Wild really knocked it out of the park um, they did have some new uh, of the cat suit lip liquid lips um, they're very matte and I mean I'm wearing one of them now and I put I think flower over the top of it but um, very matte very flat and matte but pretty they do have good coverage um, but I just find that I wish they would come up with one that you know cat suits that have a little bit more not satin so much but more of a cream look to them if it's possible but I do like this and these two colors are very very nice just So this one is called Nudist Peach. And then this one is called Pink Stole My Look. Which is a more of a shiny look to it. Shiny pinky look, but it does dry down that. Pink Stole My Look is this one. And then this one is So these two, they, they go on really nicely. Again, the matte look is just very flat and dry. You do need to put something over the top to look moister lips, especially older. You don't want to have matte, matte lips. I just, I just think it's unattractive and it makes the wrinkles stand out more. But I thought these were quite nice. They did a good job. Um, this is the Big Papa Mascara. Okay. <laughs> Big Papa's a big mess up. I tried working with this mascara several different days. Um, I like it's got a little crown around the top. That's cute. The packaging is adorable. Big Papa. I don't know if that's a New Orleans reference or uh, sometimes people call their dad's poppy. I don't know. This gives you big, big honking lashes. I have it on today. Big, big honking lashes, and um, it does, though, however, do not pass the humidity test. So when I'm sweaty, I was packing and moving things uh, this week, and I had it on. I did get the dings on my eyes, so big papa, big messa, no, no, um, no um, recommendo. <laughs> I did order the Doll 10 Lip Collection um, off of, I don't know if it was Amazon or QVC or somewhere. I think it was QVC. And there were I think three, three of the shades I kind of liked and two of the shades I didn't, but I thought the formulation was okay. I didn't see where everybody goes gaga over this. So let me just do the, the shades here. The first shade is Berry Kiss. The second shade is Mauve Kiss. The third shade is Cherry Kiss.
The fourth shade is Rose Kiss. And the fifth shade is Nude Kiss. So there's a nice little assortment there, but I, I didn't really fall in love with any of them, I, I'm afraid. So I, I just, I'm not a big, everybody seems to like Doll 10, but it's never really been uh, something that's worked very well for me. And I just got the feeling because of the smell of them and the feel of them that they might have been old or stale, stale lipsticks. <laughs> I don't know, but Doll 10 did not work for me, unfortunately. Javia's Place. This is a palette I've been wanting to get for quite a while. And as soon as I got a job, this is something I picked up. This is the um, purple palette from Juvia's Place. It's simply called The Violets. Absolutely beautiful shades of purple. So these are, you know, like real accent shades to add in. You can use some of these lighter shades in the on the lid space or just a teeny tiny little dot or line right up in here in the uh, under the upper brow. Uh, or liner. You can use any of these for like a light liner under your eyes. It's They're beautiful. They're just beautiful. I think um, Javia's Place has high quality lip products and high quality eyeshadows. I really haven't, I didn't like their foundation or uh, concealers, but I did like the eyeshadow palette a lot. And this is a wonderful color combination. Just one of the smaller ones. ColourPop came out with Sandstone, and it's awfully warm toned. I didn't really like using it. I think it's for some reason I feel like this should come out in August, you know, July, August, so that we could bring in the autumn with this because every shade here is very, very warm. I do like the, uh, the green, and this uh, kind of sparkly gold color were nice, but I thought this was kind of disappointing and meh for me. I mean, you do have kind of, it's, it's slightly warm tan, which I don't like for a light base shade. And um, then you've got no real transition shade here. I did try using this one, it's awfully warm. It's more on the orange tan side. Um, so I don't think it had a good transition in it. We had some really nice dark matte shades, which I thought were good. And you know, this beautiful shimmery shade, which you can use either on your eyes, or you can consider using it as a highlighter, which, you know, I think using eyeshadow as a highlighter is just a wonderful way to save money. And if you're traveling to save, you know, makeup stuff that you have to bring. So yeah, all in all, the palette had some nice colors in it, but um, cohesively to make a, an eye look, it's just a very warm one trick pony eye look. So I just pick different colors out of here once in a while to accent my look, but I was kind of disappointed in this color story in this. Wet n Wild came out with their tinted, um, I guess it's kind of a BB cream tinted hydrator. It was okay. It, um, it did kind of sit on the skin. I think this just comes in the one shade and it's basically your face primer and I think they think it's going to even out a little bit of real uneven texture or uneven skin coloring but I didn't find that that was it worked all that well in that um, in that role. House Beauty. This is Lady Gaga's brand. I did break down and get this. Uh, it was on sale. There is nothing special about this lip gloss. It is a little gloppy. Um, it does make whatever lipstick you have on look better. It doesn't feel all that great. It feels very dry on the lips. The packaging is beautiful. I am a fan of Lady Gaga's stuff. I think she's really cool and innovative and, you know, woman of modern age, but I just didn't care for this. And it's the first house project that, um, that I have house projects. 
I got my moving on the brain. <laughs> it's the first house makeup that I've tried, and I can't say I'm all that impressed, although it looks pretty, but it feels very dry. It feels like you've got something on your mouth, and I don't like to think that I have something on my mouth, but it does look pretty. And this particular shade, this particular shade, ironically, is called Corset. And it does feel a little tight on the lips, but I do think it makes your lips look shiny and pretty, and putting it over the top of any lipstick, especially matte lipsticks, improves them a lot. I did want to talk about Ilia Mascara because I complimented uh, their lipstick so much. I mean, I love, I love Ilia lipsticks a lot, so I did try, I wanted to try other things in the line, and I did not like at all the mascara. It was terrible. It didn't really give very much volume or length, but it sure did smear a lot, and it, it left dings on my uh, upper lids, which, you know, is a total fail for me. Absolutely. So, um, a lot of my friends sell Color Street nail tapes, and what they are is it's a strip of nail color, and like similar to this, and you basically peel off the nail strip, you press it on your nail, uh, you cut off the excess and then you file down the edge and you've got real nail polish and it's like three coats. It lasts really well and it's very durable. And Color Street is kind of a, like a Mary Kay kind of thing or Avon where you have a, a salesperson a distributor to sell it to. I did notice in CVS, and I hope people don't get mad at me for this, but they do have these in the CVS now. You can get them in a variety of colors, holiday colors. There's some beautiful things here, and these run around $7.99. Uh, the Color Street, that is pretty much the same amount of nail product, is running about $15, $14, $12 to $15. So this is actually a pretty good deal. You can find them in um, CVS. It was only a matter of time before a good idea was hijacked and other companies are making these now. You can also find them on Amazon for an incredibly low amount of money. Um, I really want to tell you this because as a person on a budget, I really feel that if you can find something cheaper that does the same thing, go for it. But, you know, Color Street has a nice reputation. A lot of people are doing it as uh, private sales, you know, to make a little extra money, and I hate to take money out of their pockets because, you know, there's some good people on there. I think Geek Out of Water does sell it. One of my other friends uh, sells it. Um, I did a video with somebody who's selling it, so um, I feel a little guilty talking about this, but you can find these in CVS and also on Amazon. I will link them below, but, um, you know, if you can save half the price, I'm going to have to go with that, um, and I'm really sorry. I apologize to my friends who do sell Color Street. Uh, this was an odd thing. Um, I bought a bunch of stuff in the Profusion sale, and I'm going to do a separate video on Profusion because I have so many things, but I want to talk about this while there's still some of these left in the Walgreens. Um, this is a set, and this has everything in it. It has eyes, cheeks lips, everything. It's just gorgeous. Uh, the assortment of blushes, they have these large, uh, you can use them as face or eye base colors. There's pressed glitters and there's an amazing assortment of uh, eyeshadow colors. You can also use a lot of these uh, colors here for, um, you know, highlighters and, you know, we have bronzers, definition, we have uh, contours. It's really an amazing set. And right now, these came out at Christmas time in the Walgreens, and I did pick one up at that time. And I am just blown away. I mean, the quality of the shadows is good. The selection of the, um, the, the blushes and the contour and those pressed glitters, they're just gorgeous. They are, you know, if you use a glitter, glue on your eyes, you can, you know, keep it in check because I know a lot of times when you use glitter around your eyes, it tends to spread everywhere. So there are glitter glues you can use, and I do have one here um, from um, Barry M. I will talk about that in a minute. So this is from 
Profusion. They still have some of these on their website. You can find these in Walgreens in the sale rack where all their Christmas stuff is. So I just say if you see this, pick it up and don't even think twice about it. It's an unbelievably good deal. Uh, I think I got mine for around $10 and I'm sure it's less now because they're going to like 70% on a lot of their Christmas stuff. And I wish I could have gotten that information to you earlier when they were more up and around. Um, a lot of people talked in December, you know, their favorite products of the year, and of course I like to watch all of those as well as all of the, uh, the lucky bags from Beautylish. Um, but this one was brought up a lot, and this is the, the Balm Cheek. It's a liquid cheek color from Flower Beauty. And uh, this one is in Pinched, and this was everybody's favorite color, all the white girls anyway, that I was watching. And I think that it's a very, very subtle color. I'm not sure I'm that keen on it. I don't understand why everybody went nuts over these because I thought I had tried them before and didn't like them, but I'm just noticing that the color is so slight that you can barely see it. And, you know, maybe as a base shade you can use it, but um, I'm just seeing a little bit of color, just very little color on the face, very little. I mean, if you want that no makeup makeup look, I mean, this is your girl. But it just didn't give enough color for me to go gaga over it. Maybe I should have gone with one of the pink shades. But Pinched is the one everybody seemed to like in the Flower Beauty range. Since they have them in CVS now, I thought this would be a really good purchase. But I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in this. I just don't think there was enough color. Although it did feel good. It didn't last. I had to keep layering it on. So... And to keep layering on the color for it to even show up. And then it seemed awkward to me. It looked like a flush, but it was awkward. You know, around the edges, it wasn't even. And so I don't know as so I could really recommend that. <sighs> Barry M. Now, Barry M is a real person. Um, he actually did pass away uh, a few years ago, I think in 2016, I don't know. But Barry M started selling wild nail polishes out in his mother's front yard uh, to passerbys that were going to the markets, the outdoor markets in England. And Barry, I have a picture of Barry M. <laughs> Now he um, sold really wild neon color uh, nail polishes and they started to become famous. And I remember when I was in England in the 1980s, I actually did buy Barry M nail polishes. And actually as time went on, I think it was around 2009 or 2010, he developed a big cosmetic company and came up with other products. And I've always liked his stuff and it's very difficult to get here in the States. You have to go on Amazon or you have to know somebody who lives in England who can bring you something back. Um, this was a disappointment though and this is the Glow Mance Soft Focus. It's a primer that's tinted, so it's supposed to even out your skin tone, and I don't know, these tinted primers, just for some reason, they don't do either job well, but this one's so strongly scented, I can't stand it. It's got a very strong, suntanny kind of smell to it, and it's like, ugh, you know, I can't go with it. Can't go with it. So, the Barry M Glow Mats, which is a tinted face primer, um, it does feel somewhat hydrating and makes your skin very, very soft. I did notice that my skin was like baby soft, but I just can't handle the smell and there's not enough coverage. It cannot be a foundation substitute um, and it's not, I don't know. As far as a primer goes, I guess it's okay, but again, that smell and it doesn't seem to dissipate. It stays, you know, I get a waft of it every now and then. The wind hits my face, I'm like, God, you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> So it was kind of a fail. Poor Barry M again. I did get this lip liner. And it's more crayony. Um, it's it's a softer feel to it. I really like it because it's a dry feel to the liner. So I feel confident that this won't let things bleed and it has not yet. Even with a mask on, this worked really well. And you can see where it's kind of difficult to get it off the lips. Um, I noticed that it does a really good job. And this color is rose. So it's a very, very pretty uh, lip liner from Barry M. 
Um, one last thing from Barry M. This is the Lid Lock, Lid Lock Eye Primer. And what's weird about this is it seems to have some kind of grain in it or sand in it. Did I get a bad one? Did I get a bad one? I don't know if those are little molecules that blend out because when I rub them into my eyelid, they disappeared. But they initially it felt like it had sand in it or something. I don't know if those are like moisture beads or color beads or what. But I did like how it worked with eyeshadow. So again, the Barry M brand, one of my favorites out of England in the Superdrug uh, boots kind of um, price range. Really, really good. Um, and then this is the J-Cat um, glitter base. And this is for, if you have glitter eyeshadows, J-Cat Beauty has uh, a lot of interesting products. And this is their glitter eye base. You can also use this for regular eyeshadow, but I would suggest putting a powder down first. It's really made to be extra epoxy-like almost to hold glitter on in place so it doesn't move all over your eye or get onto your face. So if you are using any of the pressed glitters, I highly recommend. This is the J-Cat Beauty, and that's the Glitter Glue uh, Primer, Eye Primer. I know I talked about last last month how much I love the Profera. Uh, this is the $5 foundation that's on uh, Amazon right now, and I really love it. So I did purchase the concealer, and they come in two packs of two different shades. One's a slightly warmer shade, one slightly more neutral pink. And I love their concealer. It's absolutely wonderful, really inexpensive. You can get it for under $7 each. Um, I happen to want to try both of these because I wanted to try both shades. And they do, um, they have a applicator. I'll just put that there. And you can see there's a slight variant here on the colors. One slightly pinker than the other one, and um, they both last a long time. Uh, they do blend out fairly evenly. I like to work quickly with these, and I do put a light powder to set them. Or you can use a tissue. I do a tissue set where you would just press the tissue on and pull it off. That's an old school grandma thing. And that does set foundations and concealers quite nicely if you don't want to use any powder at all. So that is the Profera Concealers, and they're on Amazon. Really fabulous, fabulous stuff. So just to follow a little bit on one of the things that I received in my Beautylish Lucky Bag, the Natasha Denona Love Palette, which I thought was like the star player, and I couldn't wait to dip into it. I've tried it now for three days, and I have only come up with one kind of look with it, and I'm not really all that thrilled. Um, I didn't find that the colors worked all that well together to create more than a couple different eye looks. Um, I didn't think the quality was any better than some of the lesser priced products that I have, and this color story does not have a good transition shade. It doesn't have a good base shade. Um, I did use this for a base shade, but it is more of a pinkier tone, and I just, I just was disappointed. I think that um, for Natasha Denona, I just thought maybe I'm just not looking at it the right way. I don't know, but I just didn't think it was all that great. So if I were purchasing this, I would have returned it. So. Um, that's my report on the Love Palette, and I did try to make different eye looks. A lot of them looked muddy. Uh, a lot of them just didn't work with my coloring. So the Love Palette from Natasha Denona, even though the packaging is nice, the mirror is nice, and there are some very good colors here and good quality, I just didn't think there was enough in here to hold me and to um, keep it in my collection even, so I might actually be getting rid of it. 
So um, I am still working on a couple other videos for you. I am, of course, moving right now, and I've got a few more days in this location before I move. I'll try not to have it ruin my uploading uh, schedule for YouTube. As always, I really appreciate you watching and taking your time to spend with me. I hope that uh, 2021 is good for all of us. Um, I have a good start here with a new place, a great new job, and um, we're working on the divorce. I mean, uh, paperwork got, got uh, sent back to us with missing pieces and stuff, so we have to work on that a little bit. That's what happens when you don't use lawyers. <laughs> But you save some money, but this is where you have to pay it back. So anyway, everybody have a wonderful week and have a beautiful day. Take care. Toodles.